Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and I'm back for some more of the Animal Crossing retrospective. So, once again, we're off and we're here to help out our villagers. And we're also going to talk about old stories about our, my time with Animal Crossing when I was younger. Deliver these close to Freya. Alright, so, let's see, uh... Animal Crossing for the GameCube, uh, I remember when I was younger, I, uh, remember when this game came out, it was originally my sister's, and, like, it, my dad got it for her, so, you know, I played along as well, but it was mainly her game, and I always wanted to, you know, make my house the biggest, so we'd always challenge each other to see who would make it, like, further, so eventually I got, like, a huge lead, because, uh, Eventually, a few years later, Animal Crossing City Folk would come out, and ba it'd be basically the same way, so... Uh, we had one town, I think it was called Orange or something? And, yeah, we didn't, we weren't really creative with our names when we were younger, honestly. And it was, there was also another town afterwards, like, before that one. We, and this one was probably, like, the biggest I've ever made my house, ever. And, uh... It was, like, some weird name. Like, it just had, like, so many symbols and whatnot. Like, and, like, random letters. That was just, like, a huge mess. And Freya gets dressed into a nice, uh... Outfit. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of, uh, red one. I'm giving you 191 bells. Back then, they even they, nowadays they don't even give me bells unless they want something. They won't give it to me if I do a job for them. Wow. Uh, yeah. So there was a lot of uh, characters, especially Louis. Louis was like the first character I really liked in Animal Crossing, and uh, I can't believe I don't know why I delete some. I guess it's because of all the weeds. Me and my sister just didn't like pulling them, so and we just delete towns because of it. And also, just to start fresh, I guess. Yeah, this game definitely has a lot of fond memories. I I do remember whenever uh, there would be events like the uh, fall, like sporting things, like where you would uh, go and like basically, uh, like they'd have people around the town. And like there would be at the wishing well and they would have like, you know, them running around doing like tug of war. And a lot of other things as well at the over there, and also at the lake they would have the fireworks show, and uh, they'd be red, crazy red over there. Also, I guess my sister got the second bridge built because when you like stay around for the town for long, for like longer and whatnot. Right, take this outfit to Poncho. Uh, I guess another story with this game would be, uh, I guess, like, the first time I ever entered the lighthouse, uh, I didn't know that this was a thing, so when I was, when I came back to this game, maybe in, like, the early start of the 2010s, I remember, uh, Tormer turned me to go to the lighthouse, and then, like, I just, like, I look and I'm like, I didn't even know this was a thing. But then eventually, after I went in, I, like, I, when I saw it, and I, like, I went online to YouTube, obviously. And I was like, wow, I did not know that this was a thing. And then I did it, and then I was like, I thought, I didn't even know that this was real. I thought maybe people hacked it or something, because I know at that time YouTube was a very good site. People would fall for anything and everything. So, yeah, that's, uh, it was pretty much different back then, the whole landscape of the internet in, like, the early 2010s. And, uh, I, oh my, I hated, this game is what made me hate Halloween in Animal Crossing back then. Because I did not know what to do. Every time a villager would come up, and, oh, pa we have to go to Poncho again, because Punk is, does not have his videotape. We don't know what videotape it is, but it's a videotape. But yeah, there would always be stuff that I did not. Uh, like, I did not like anything about the ha Halloween at all. I'd always get my clothes changed to patch clothes, and they would always, like, make my furniture the jack-in-the-box. So I never liked Halloween at all back then in Animal Crossing. It just, like, I, every time that day would come out, uh, like, come in in Animal Crossing, I'd just skip it entirely because I did not like it. 
Wait, who did Poncho say he gave it to? Okay. I learned it to Ozzy. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, well, it's, it's X. Oh my god, this is so much different. I know I keep saying it, but obviously it is... I mean, if you came back to an older game, even though you're playing the newer one, you'd probably be just as confused as, as I am right now. Also, there is the Taylor as well, which is, uh... The Able Sisters. Also, the lights aren't on, which is uh, pretty funny. And wow, does it look a lot different. So yeah, we have Sable here. Definitely still the same way. And instead of having a shop, they actually do the custom designs for shirts and umbrellas. And yeah, this is the only game where I believe hats are not a thing, so you're stuck with this thing forever. I don't even know what this hairstyle would even be called, honestly. Like, are you, what are, like, I know, are you a human anymore? Are you, like, some sort of devil or, like, like, mutation of a goat and human? I don't know. Uh, Ozzy, I think, is over here. All right. But yeah, this, this happens a lot. Oh, and there's the soccer ball that I was talking about. Uh, there'd be randomly soccer balls and other kinds of, uh, like, sports balls, I guess. I don't know. Just lying around. You could just kick them. Funny thing is, I lent it to Kabuki. Alright, at least he's nearby. Yeah, this stuff happens as well. Uh, back then, they used to have, like, animals. Like, I, oh, I lent this to this uh, character. And then they'll be like, oh, now I lent it to that character. I gave it to Daisy. Oh, no. Yeah, and also they do have a lot of Nintendo references. There's a Game Boy that you could that you have to return or bring to someone. So yeah, they they have a lot of these things uh, where the character has like an item, either Nintendo related or not. A lot. I remember I was watching someone that had to bring back so much uh, Game Boys in one day, like, they'd just be that same thing over and over, like, hey, I let my Game Boy to this character, and then, like, the next character would also say, hey, I let my Game Boy to this character, or, hey, he let hit, left his Game Boy here. So, yeah, it was pretty hilarious that this guy had, it was just consistently Game Boys. And there we go, his videotape. videotapes, oh my god, just remembering that in 2020 videotapes back then, and I remember we used to have like a whole bunch and uh, there was just a mixture of a lot, like Marvel cartoons some Pokemon was in there there was like Land Before Time Sesame Street, there was just like a whole bunch of things for like me when I was like a toddler and me when I was like a kid growing up, and then discs were like, you know, rising in popularity and whatnot, so then eventually that thing was take, was happening. Anyways, I believe that should be enough for us to go back to Tom Nook. Are fairly generous, but then they actually are very mean in some other ways. So, oh my god, another thing to Poncho. I do kind of regret deleting my older towns now that I'm older. Because, like, there was just so much stuff that I had that was, like, made the town, like, that I had some of my favorite villagers. I had, like, my entire house was huge and had, like, all these different, uh, uh, clothings and, like, furniture in my house. Like, my house is at its biggest, probably. So, yeah, I just really feel bad. And also, because of my memories of going to the island, I remember having, uh my Game Boy uh, adapter that would connect to the GameCube. And now it's like, I don't even know where it is. I believe I still have it though, but 
you would connect your Game Boy onto here and yeah, you would connect. But now I don't have a Game Boy because mine broke, sadly. It did get fixed, but there was something wrong with the battery, so. And now we have our rug. And uh, now I actually do have a game, game the Game Boy uh, accessory with the Game Boy Player startup disc as well, which I'm really happy about because I finally could do some Let's Plays with Game Boy games. So maybe somewhere down the line I might do some Game Boy games, guys. But anyways, uh, taking a look back, like, th this is, I remember, like, I'm listening to the music right now. This is the only time where this music will consistently play. Like, you could be playing at nighttime or during a rainy day or just at, or just at, a, like, a normal sunny day during spring. But right now it's, like, winter and it's snowing. There's, like, no, like, snowy, like, kind of vibe to this, which is, like, pretty, uh, different because... When you're working, it's different, but when you first come in, but after uh, we're done working here, that's, it's going to change. And, oh my god, we have to deliver an axe to Cleo. Anyways, yeah, so, just like listening to this music over and over again, I don't, I don't remember much of the, uh, the uh, original track because this is like the most iconic soundtrack from the original Animal Crossing and like uh, there was just like a whole like nowadays like every hour like it changes in Animal Crossing it has like a different mood in New Leaf so I, re I really like how New Leaf just like bought a whole new like feeling of atmosphere hi I go to Nook someplace So talk about porn writing? Poor writing? I didn't... You think I'm being like that on purpose? Of course I am. Because... Wait, wait. Ah, oh, dang, I messed up the joke. Well now, Cleo, now you're forever on my hate list of Animal Crossing villagers. I hope you're happy. Yeah. <laughs> I... This game just insults you left and right. Especially, like... Like, if two villagers are... are like, villagers could easily get into an argument with each other. And they, like... They could fight with each other. And, they're, like... Not, like, physically fight, but, like, they argue. And then, like, one will come out super happy. And the other one's just, like, super angry or sad. Oh, and this is the final one. Yeah, right on the bulletin board in front of our house. Don't write anything that might embarrass me. Oh boy, I definitely won't do that. I bet you everybody did this, by the way. The same way that people would name, like, you know, your rival in Pokemon games, like Ass Hat or something. I bet you everybody did this. Like, they just wrote something that was completely not it. God dang, it's so weird pressing the space button. Nook is a fish. Hope you all like that. Yeah, I bet you everybody probably wrote something stupidly cr mean to uh, to Nook, or just to embarrass him, or just write something about yourself. Yes, and that is it. Work was that long. Uh, fortunately, it's not like that in real life. Really, we're done working, and we only made a thousand bells. How about? Then how come in the anime for Animal Crossing, she, literally what's her face was working? I, I think that was her name, what, that's what her name was, was working basically the entire, like, 
duration of an the entire anime, well, the OVA, because it's just a one-off. Which is, like, crazy. And something that can't happen to us in real life. Yes, I'm finally done working. I'm free. I'm free. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, the music changed. So now we're free to change into the actual shirt. Ooh, I like how it's like a wintry remix of like the menu theme. Like you hear the da na 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 da da. And also gyroids usually living from your house, so yeah, that was definitely something a lot different back then. And also, this was something different too. You had uh, calendars, so you'd get to like write stuff, like an entry, like what went on. So it's kind of like a diary, and like it would show you what days would ha have, like it would have, like, yeah, the sports fair. There we go. So like on each like day, like season change, and I guess this one is uh, the day one Animal Crossing New Horizons release, which is pretty funny. And obviously you have your April Fool's Day, the Cherry Festival, which is the, basically the Blossom Festival in Japan, uh, when basically spring is like alive and like all the cherry blossoms fall from the sky and whatnot. Nature Day, so I guess that's Earth Day, spring cleaning, which is, that's pretty late in spring, honestly. And Graduation Day is a thing too. Fireworks show on the 4th of July and Olympus Day. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of, uh, Different days, honestly. There's a Meteor Shower, Founder's Day. This is definitely the most unique uh, Animal Crossing of the moment when it comes to like things like this. There's another sports fair for the fall. Harvest Moon. There's the Explorer's Day, which is basically Columbus Day, I guess. And we have Halloween, obviously, the, the thing that still haunts me. We have a fishing... Fishing turn. Oh, yeah, fishing tournaments happen... Uh, I think if it's the... Oh, uh, let's see if I go back. Uh, yeah, so during, like, halfway through, there would be, like, di there'd be, like, an entire full, full week of fishing tournaments, so. They didn't have bug catching contests back then, though. But, yeah, they'd have an entire full, like, every Sunday fishing tournaments during uh, either before the winter or before the summer. We have Officer's Day and Mayor Day, which is very weird. And we have Sale Day as well, which is basically Black Friday, which is pretty funny, honestly, that this is, that uh, they have Black Friday in this. I don't want to call Black Friday in any other uh, Animal Crossing game. And obviously Snow Day is the first day of snow. And then there's Toy Day. There's no Christmas at all. It's on the 23rd. And we have New Year's Eve, obviously. And then New Year's Day again. So yeah, this is definitely a lot different compared... No, that's like the only time you would see that thing ever. Like, there would be like no other way to find out what's going to happen on another day unless it's on a bulletin board. Speedway shirt. Oh yeah, that was what we were wearing. I guess we'll keep it on. Wow, uh... Guess we came out right when the clock struck to, I believe it's 9 a.m. now. Well, I'm not recording this at 9 a.m., but I guess that's what's going on. And the music changes once more. Yeah, the music definitely changed quite a bit through Animal Crossing. Like, they kept this kind of style for until New Leaf. Like, New Leaf was basically the turning point for the franchise. Like, it changed it quite a lot. Because they wanted to try something new. They were, obviously, they introduced a lot of new characters, too, in that game. Like, uh, Isabel, definitely the most recognizable of the new characters, as well. And yeah, also, all the villagers will start moving on to different places. And they're also, yeah, this is, they also sleep. So, yeah, they sleep in, well, standing up if uh, it's too early for them. So, yeah, like, uh... This doesn't really happen as often in later games, but yeah, this game happens a lot. Like, animals could literally be sleeping outside of their house because they get too tired. And obviously, each animal is different. They have your morning birds, and you have your 
uh, you have your morning birds, and then you have your you know your night owls, all that other fun stuff. And yeah, the the snowballs are also here, which they're very annoying to control, especially when you have the snowmen, uh, the snowballs on two different levels. And I remember when I, I remember I'd always try to make is like the most obscure looking snowman ever. I'd always have like the a small body but a large head, just to like make it funny because you just have this like big freakish snowman. Oh yeah, she's talking about the balls, like that just lie around, I guess. I don't know who would kick a basketball, but those those they're just not fun to kick around at all. They're pretty hard, honestly. They're just not meant for being kicked. And also the snowballs can break very easily, like in every other Animal Crossing game. I guess we'll leave that there. I'm not sure where the other snowball will be. And yeah, as you can see, most of the female characters are pretty uh, early birds, and all like the deep, heavy voice characters are more, uh, I guess they're more, uh, like, nighttime characters, because they do stay up rather late. And I believe some of them do go to bed. Oh, never mind, some of them just go off to their house. And yeah, each, char each character, I guess, has their own theme of the house. Like how they do nowadays. And also, there's a lot more rocks in this game than uh, later games have. And also, there's signs which replace a uh, villager. They give basically give advice, but they also replace where a villager used to live. So it's a lot different uh, now than it is back then. Oh, oh my God, Gulliver! Gone to a corner, I was trapped, but nowhere, I only had one chance. I jumped over the railing and into the ocean. So that's a that's hilarious. I stayed. I guess I stayed up too late playing video games. I mean, fighting with my shipmates. Let's see if got something. I was visiting a far off port town find another anywhere at least I don't think you will so yeah instead of answering a questionnaire you just straight up get the thing that uh that he got so yeah this is a this is the first time that Gulliver appears obviously but in later games he actually is in a UFO which you can shoot down with a slingshot and you have to collect everything but which we'll get to hopefully and we get a compass I think we're going to end off in a bit. First, let's actually uh, um, let's actually sell some of the stuff that we got. And yeah, uh, later on, uh, yeah, as you can see, there are little signs here. Caution, there are bees in the trees, don't shake them. It'd be funny if a bee just appeared there, just be ironic. Yeah, they used to have uh, villagers living where the posts are, but also they just have the advice things lying around. They stopped doing that in New Leaf, though, so that's uh, that was honestly much good, but much better because. They just had those lying around, and they took up a lot of space, honestly. And also, you can mass sell your items, like in every other game. But you also can mass release them, too, so... Yeah. Wow, that's very cheap. <laughs> All that stuff. Actually, hold on. Let me see if they have any shovels or anything. There's a fishing rod. And we'll take that, yes. Okay, Tom, look, I understand this already. I'm not a noob. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, fishing's a lot different in this game. Uh, instead of, like, the animals, not the animals, the fish slowly going to your rod, they actually just, like, stupidly go quick, which uh, is, like, probably uh, not a really, very good design choice, especially because they turn around, like, instantly. Like, they will literally, like, look this way, and then they'll, like, turn around backwards. Th he literally just moved around my thing! Okay, please pay attention. Yeah, they just rush right at it. And we got a bass. And obviously they do keep the puns, the fish puns for each fish. But yeah, uh, I guess one more story before we end off. Uh, I remember when I was fishing, and... I recall that uh, there was like this massive fish in the river... And I went to go and catch it, and when I did, it was like, I'm not sure what fish it was. I remember it was a big river fish, and I caught it, and like, I just popped off and when I caught it. that I accidentally pulled out the wire for the GameCube, and it came out, and, I fit, and it reset it on me, and I was like, no, I lost that giant fish that I caught, and it was... I just did not have a good time for the rest of the day. I just immediately didn't play Animal Crossing for, like, the next few days. I was that disappointed. But anyways, that's it for part two of Animal Crossing. Uh, our retrospective will continue with the finale of this game as we pay off the rest of our house. See you guys then.